Hello P6 and welcome to Friday's Maths Activities. Now for your warm-up today you're going to begin with a counting grid and in each grid what you need to do is start at the given number and then can you count on, it might be in count on in fives or in twos and fours or in threes, whatever it happens to be, can you count on until you get to the final number in the grid. Now for that activity it's absolutely okay if you don't want to print that page out, you could do that as a verbal activity, you could do it as an activity where you simply calling out the answers to somebody at home. For our main activity today we are going to be thinking about long multiplication which is something we looked at a lot last term. So today we're going to revise how to set out a multiplication, a long multiplication sum and we're going to think about how we break it down into three separate parts to work out the final answer. So if we look at the first question here, we've got 393 and we're multiplying it by 65. Now, it would be very difficult for me to count in groups of 65 393 times. I know up to my 12 times tables, but I'm not so sure about the tables after that. And counting in 65s might be easy to start with, but it's going to get very difficult. So you'll remember that what we did last term was we took this 65 and we broke it down. 65 of course, is the same as 5 add 60. It's the same as 5 units, or 5 ones, and 6 tens. 65 is 5 units and 6 tens. And what we're going to do is use that information to help us do our working out for our long multiplication sum. Because in a long multiplication sum, we begin, we take the top number and we begin by multiplying it by the number that's in the units. So the number that's in the units is 5. So I am going to be doing 393 times 5. Now for now, I'm ignoring that 6 that's there in the tens column. I'm going to pretend it's not there. And I'm going to do 393 times 5. So I'm going to do 5 times 3, 5 times 9, 5 times 3. So help me work it out. 5 times 3 is 15. So I put down the 5 and I carry the little one over. It's on the bottom. It's just above the line and it's beside the 6. So 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 9. 5 nines are 45. Add one more is 46. So I write down the 6 and I carry the little 4 over into the bottom of the next box. So five threes are 15, five nines are 45, add one makes 46. Five times three is 15 again, but this time I have to add the four. So five times three is 15, add four makes 19. So 393 times five is 1,965. Now that I've multiplied by the 5, I now need to multiply by the tens number, and the tens number is 60. Now, again, I don't know my 60 times tables, but I do know how to multiply by 6. And I do know that 60 is the same as 6 groups of 10. As we learnt last term, when we multiply by a group of 10, we end up with a 0 in the first uh, box of the sum. So to multiply by 60, I begin by putting a zero in the units column, and then I'm going to multiply by the six. I'm going to do six times three, six times nine, six times three. So this time I'm ignoring the five, and I'm doing six threes, six nines, six threes. So let's do it together. Six times three is 18. So six threes are 18. Put down my eight, but where am I going to write that little one? Do you remember? We write it up high beside the 9 because that's the next number we're going to multiply it by. I'm not writing it down at the bottom. The numbers that I carried down at the bottom are from when I multiplied by the units number, by the 5. When I'm multiplying by my groups of 10, the carried number goes up high. So 6 times 3 is 18. 6 nines. 6 times 9 is 54. Add one more is going to be 55. So put the units 5 down there, carry the other 5 up high. 6 times 3 is 18. Add 5 more, 23. Can you think, how will I say the answer there? What does that number say? 
yeah, 23,580. So I've multiplied by the five, I've multiplied by my 60, make sure you start with the zero, and now what I need to do is add my two answers together. So five add zero is five, six add eight, 14. Don't forget to carry the carried number over and put it at the bottom. Nine plus five plus one, well nine add one is 10, add five more is 15. One plus three plus one is gonna be five. Two add nothing. What does that answer say? 25,545. Let's do one more question together as revision. So in this question, I'm taking my 815 and I'm multiplying it by 27. So again, I'm gonna take my 27, I'm gonna break it down into two parts. I'm gonna have my units number, which is seven, and then I'm going to have my tens number, which is 20. So for my question today, if I'm multiplying by 27, I'm going to multiply by the units number first, the 7, and then I'm going to multiply by the 20. So let's ignore the 2, and we're going to do 815 times 7. So 7 fives are 35. Put down the 5, carry the little 3. 7 ones are 7. Add 3 more is going to be 10. So put down your zero and carry the one. Seven times eight, seven eights are 56. And one more, 57. 5,705. I've multiplied by my seven. Now I'm going to multiply by the tens number and that two means 20. Because I'm multiplying by two groups of 10, when I multiply by a group of 10, put in the zero first of all. And then I'm going to do two times five, two times one, two times eight. So two times five is 10. Put down the zero, carry the little one up high beside this other one. Two times one is what is two. Add one more, makes three. Two times eight is 16. Nothing to add to it. So, 815 times 20, one, sorry, 16,300. So I've got my two lines, I've multiplied by seven, I've multiplied by 20, and now I need to add those together again. So five add zero is five, zero add zero is zero. Seven add three, that's gonna be 10. Five plus six, plus one, well five add six is 11, and one more makes 12. One plus one, two. So today, P6 for your task. If you need to, if you are still getting a little bit confused in those, rewind back, go and watch what we've just done again. But for your main task today, you are going to be completing this page. Now to start off with, you have been given uh, four questions for you to go and work out. So. Do your writing on the page. Don't forget, we start off by multiplying by the number in the units. So rather than trying to multiply by 49 all in one go, for this one, I'll begin by multiplying by nine, and then I'll be multiplying by 40, and then I'll add my two answers together. So you've got four long multiplication questions to do on your own. Then, part B, the imposters are back. I have given you four questions with four different imposters. So we've got blue, green, red, and cyan. But some of them are imposters and some of them are crewmates. Can you work out which one is which? So what you need to do, I have already done out the questions for you, the carried numbers and everything, it's all there. But can you work out if each of these characters is a crewmate or an imposter? You'll need to go through the question, work out each answer, work each line out, do the adding up. If it works, it's a crewmate. If there's a mistake somewhere, then it's an imposter. If you do find an imposter, circle the imposter. So if you think blue is an imposter, circle blue. And then show us where the mistake happened. So did the mistake happen perhaps was the carried number wrong? Was there a problem in the adding that maybe one of the carried numbers wasn't added up? 
where is the mistake? Can you put a circle around where the mistake was as well? For your final part of your long multiplication challenge, on the back of your page, I would like you to make up two more questions for somebody in your house to have a go at. Now, I'd like you to set them out like this so you do all your working out, but I'd like you to think about these different characters. For your two questions, you might decide that both of your questions are going to be crewmates because the answers are absolutely right. But maybe you'll decide to make a mistake in one of the questions or you'll decide to make a mistake in both of the questions and make them into imposters. It is entirely up to you. But I want you to do two questions on the back of the page, finish them off, so do all your working out, then give your page to an adult in your house and get them to see if they can sort out the crewmates from the imposters. Your teacher would also love to see this. So it would be lovely if you emailed a photograph of your work to your teacher. Your final maths challenge for today is our reasoning challenge, our daily reasoning challenge. And for today's daily reasoning challenge, I want you to see if you can come up with different ways to turn one number into another number. It might be by adding, it might be by with adding and some subtracting. How many ways or which different ways can you work out to change one number into the other number? That's our maths for today, P6. No matter what, keep revising your tables and keep practicing telling the time. We'll do more work on both of those again next week.